Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. Got Jeremy Ford over here. We're going to do a review of these pretzels I found. Um, found these in the campus bookstore. They have a little bit of a, a variety of foods, you know, snacks, drinks, all that kind of stuff. Um, they were expensive for this little bag. The you know, the campus bookstore is usually expensive anyway because they want to make extra money for funds for, you know, books and stuff and all that kind of stuff, so they're more expensive. But there was a bigger bag that was even more expensive than this, but uh, I just stuck with getting this one this time. But this here is, oh yeah, <coughs> $3.49. The other one was like 7 or something like that for a bigger bag. But these are called Dots Homestyle Pretzels. Pride of Dakota, North Dakota Originals, manufactured by Dots Pretzels, Velva, North Dakota. You can look at more information at dotspretzels.com. Contains wheat, milk, and soy ingredients. Let's you get a better look at the front there. <clears throat> I wonder, Pride of Dakota. Is that just pride of South, of North Dakota or Dakota Indian tribe? I wonder what they're exactly talking about. <clears throat> um, contains 130 calories, ingredients, enriched flour. Corn, salt, artificial butter flavor, corn syrup, yeast, canola oil. Um, dried garlic, dried onion spices. Okay. Let's see what these are like. They have a little Ziploc zipper deal to it, so you're paying for that too. I'm going to have something like that. You getting that butter aroma? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very buttery smelling. Here's what they look like. Appearance is just a regular pretzel twist kind of look. They have a light glaziness to them, which I imagine that's the sweet, the sweet part of it. They give you a little bit of, let's see, what was the sweet part? Corn syrup. So, you're going to get a little bit of corn syrup taste to them. <clears throat> but yeah, big buttery aroma. And getting a little bit of the... <clears throat> a little bit of the garlic. Kind of like French bread. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Just a little bit of roasty aroma. A little bit of yeastiness. Smells good. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Mmm. There's a big, it's <laughs> a big salty garlicky taste. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Ooh, salty. <coughs> Ooh. Crunchy, fresh. Very good. Got salt and that garlic in this stuff. So. Just caught me by surprise. Um, buttery. Those are good. Mm -hmm. Um, the sweetness level is about. It's a light to medium. Mm -hmm. Got pretzel taste. Wheat, a little bit of wheat. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This would be good to eat with a salad or something. Mm -hmm. um, These flavors kind of reminds me of like popcorn, popcorn type seasoning with butter and garlic type. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can get them flavorings for your popcorn mm -hmm. these days. Some of those kind of weird, I'm just used to the 
classic popcorn taste. Ooh, that salt is pretty, that's a pretty salty thing. So that, that might, they could have held back a little bit on the salt level. Mm -hmm. Woo! But these are good. <clears throat> I like them. All right. Well, onion spices, dried onion spices. I'm getting that a little bit. Mm -hmm. The garlic is very dominant, though. Mm -hmm. Um... <clears throat> All right, these are good. Just a little, just a little overly salty. Um, other than that, I like them. All right, if you happen to see these, check them out. If you're a pretzel fan and, and a garlic fan, you'll enjoy these a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, what do they taste like other inner drink? <clears throat> Man, it goes pretty good with it, actually. All right. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you've heard of these or seen them anywhere. And if you like them. See you on the next one. Have a good rest of your Sunday. And then, and then a good work week.